Greetings, YouTube audience and viewers and Facebook and Twitter and every other platform where you might be viewing this particular video. I have a question for you. Does God have a name? Need a moment to think about it? Well, the answer is God does have a name and it's not God. Did you not know that the word God is a title? It refers to the title of a God. Now, it's akin to you saying, Mr. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, we know it's a male or a man. But if you say Mr., we know that refers to uh, a man. But what's the man's name? The man's name is Johnson. So if you say boy, it describes someone that is not an adult. It is a boy, but what is the boy's name? Let's say the boy's name is John. John is his name. John is the name of the boy. If there's a girl, girl is a title. What's the girl's name? Mary. Mary is her name. She's the girl, so that's the title. The president of a company, president is a title, but what's the president's name? Let's say uh, for the sake of this video, we'll just say President Barack Obama of the United States. His name is Barack Obama. That's his name, but he's the president, which is his title. Does it make sense to you? So if I have a dog as a pet, dog is a title, but what's the name of the dog? Let's just call him Ralph. Ralph is his name, and he's a dog. That's the title. Now let's go back to the beginning. Does God have a name? Of course he does. And it's not God. God is a title. If you say to a person, for example, and it's mentioned many times in the scriptures, in the Bible, thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's a title, right? Gods. What God do you serve? Does he have a name? Of course, all gods have a name. Now, in this particular instance, when I refer to the creator, God, God the creator, I call him or refer to him in his Hebrew name, Yahweh. Some people call him Yehuda, Yehoshua, the son that is, or the son is called Yahshua, God of salvation in Hebrew. So some people call God Jehovah. Jehovah is a proper name, but not God. God is just a title. So I've heard people say throughout my lifetime, and I'm sure you have too, I love God. You love title is what you're saying. So what is his name of the one that you love? He has a name. So this is just a bit of understanding because a lot of us, you know, throughout our lives, when we first came into the world, we picked up traditions, habits, and information that we've never questioned. We just believed it and latched on to it just because it was there, just because someone told us that. And so we continue in ignorance, never challenging anything, never questioning the validity of anything that we do, we just follow it because it was already there. That is a disservice to you. So study everything concerning your life, especially as it relates to the creator. Now, when we say creator, we already know that we're talking about a divine personage, but the creator has a name. Even when he told us to pray, he said, he said, pray in the name. Some say Jesus Christ in the name of, which is a name, Jesus Christ. That's an English word or a Latin word. 
But in Hebrew, his name is Yahshua. You say, in the name of the Father, which is a title, in the name of the Son, which is, which is a title, in the name of the Holy Spirit, okay? But he has a name. Even when Jesus, or Yahshua, prayed to his Father before he was imprisoned and taken to be crucified, even before he prayed, he said, Father. That's a title, but his Father has a name. And if he say, I come in the name of my father, he's not saying, I'm coming in the name of God. No, because God has a name. I hope that this was educational to some and beneficial to you as well and enlightening. And it's hard to let go of tradition because tradition is a habit that you've had for quite a long time. And for many of us for most of our lives and please understand this uh, I mean no harm in posting a video on this particular nature because education is golden it is important that we know the truth about everything that we do in this natural world that we live in and even when the truth hurts even when it doesn't feel good it doesn't make any excuse me it doesn't make it any less the truth just because you don't like what a person is saying it doesn't mean that it's not true all right do your own due diligence do your own research with an open heart and an open mind and I'm sure you'll find gold at the end of the tunnel that was it this is brother teacher and I will see you in the next video